So I think that what's happening is HR is having its priorities rearranged so that they resemble the priorities of an HR department in the 1920s. In the 1920s, the first thing that HR was responsible for was safety. In those days, if HR didn't watch out for safety, then when you cut your hand off, um, there was no doctor to sew you back together. Right? It was in, in those days, going to work meant encountering unsafe things, and they, there had to be a safety program, there had to be medical capability. And um, as we moved into the information age, you know, my joke used to be in heavy machinery places, you needed drug testing to make sure that people didn't hurt themselves. And in the Google area, you needed drug testing to make sure that people were high enough when they got to work. Um, and that shift where safety ceased to be an operating issue in 60 or 70% of companies, is now off the table and people are thinking about who's in charge of testing. You know, it turns out the bathroom is a big deal, right? Because, because all sorts of aerosol gets created in the bathroom. And so you can't really have two people in the same bathroom in most corporate settings, which means that you have to either have an attendant and who'd give anybody that job, in the bathroom in order to have the office open, or you need a robot that will clean stuff up, and you probably need sensors for the paper towels and sensors for the toilet paper and sensors on the hand sanitizer so that nobody ever risks going into the bathroom and uh, not being able to come out clean. Um, and this stuff hasn't even really started dawning on, on us, but what we're seeing is HR tech budgets are going up, but the plans to spend money on the stuff we've always called HR tech are going down because what people are buying is the new kinds of safety and monitoring equipment and the new kinds of safety and monitoring software. And so we are um, headed in that way. So what I see in, in 2021 is a realignment. Now it's great because safety isn't just, am I going to get the bug when I go to work? Safety is freedom from sexual harassment. Safety is freedom from discrimination. Safety is freedom from bullying. Safety is freedom from hazing. Safety is freedom from economic insecurity. Um, and you need all of those things to make an organization safe. And once you have the organization safe, then you can start working on health, which is the maintenance of safety. And once you get everybody healthy, then you can start working on development, which is how you make the organization agile over time. But number one is gonna be safety with a lot of different definitions. Safety includes making sure that your AI doesn't screw with your workforce. Um, and, and, and so ethics becomes a part of safety, right? And, and that's, you use a lot of the same gizmos to get the job done. It's the emphasis that changes inside of HR.